Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I have a special tip to set you free while running your Google slide presentations. This is a tip for anyone presenting with Google slides in front of an audience. Be it a teacher or student in front of a class or a larger educational or business presentation. We've all seen the remote presentation clickers like this one. And they're great but it's yet another thing to have in your presentation kit bag. If you're interested in one of these, I can tell you a few reasons why they might be a good answer for you, and also a link so that you can purchase one at the end of this video. But what if you had something you could use that you already have on you, like your mobile phone? Well, now you can with Remote for Slides by a developer by the name of Henry Lim. And there's a link to the site up here, or you can go to limhenry.xyz forward slash slides. Step one is to download the Google Chrome extension into the Google account where you're using slides. Now it's time to load up your presentation or hit reload if it's already loaded. You now have a new button up the top that says present with remote. Click that to get started. Next step is to go full screen and then pull open the drawer on the right hand sides to open remote for slides. On your display computer, press Start Remote. Now it's time to grab your phone. Open up a web browser and go to s.limhenry.xyz. You now need to enter the six digit code off the presentation screen into your mobile phone. You may need to press the Show button if it's been hidden by stars. You can now hide the drawer and step through your presentation as you wish. And you can even go backwards if you need to. If you tap the little comment box up near the top right, you can view the speaker notes right there on your phone for that given slide, which is really handy to get the detail of the points that you're trying to make. And if your slide contains a video, you can use the start and stop buttons there to start the video remotely as well. There's also a handy timer along the bottom so that you know how long you've been doing your presentation for. If you want to use this often on your iPhone, you can set up an icon for it on your home screen by clicking the share button down the bottom, then swiping up, selecting the add to home screen, and then pressing add up the top right corner. And there you have the icon. If you're on Android, you can do something similar, or you can download the Android app directly from the Google Play Store. Now, I said before that there's some reasons you might prefer the old clicker. So here are a few. Running remote for slides is going to run your phone battery down which can be an issue if you're out on the road traveling and presenting a lot. You also need internet for both the screen that's presenting and for the remote. If one or the other drops out, you're gonna be running back to your laptop to resume control. You can of course have the slides in offline mode and keep presenting, but if you've got no internet access to connect the two, there's no way to remote your slides. You also of course have your phone in your hand, so you're going to want to make sure that notifications are turned off so you don't get distracted by your own phone. And finally, these remotes do have a couple of extra functions, including a laser pointer, which can be really useful if you're trying to point something out on the screen while you're presenting. If you want to buy something like this, there's a link up here to help you out. Now a special tip of the hat to Maddie, one of the teachers I work with, for pointing this app out to me. She loves it because she can roam around the classroom keeping an eye on the naughty kids while still presenting her slides. Thanks for the video idea, Maddie. Question of the day. What do you think is the best thing about remote for slides? Have you given it a try? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this was useful, give the video a thumbs up. Thank you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here. And there's subscribe buttons down here for the videos and up here for our mailing list. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode.